What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be uh, taking care of my farm birds. So, we have a few geese, ducks, and then a bunch of baby ducks and geese. And then... What? On my little guys. It's okay, guys. So, last thing, we're going to be taking care of my geese, my ducks, and then we have a bunch of baby ducks and one big goose, and a bunch of meat birds, and then a bunch of big egg layers, and turkeys. And a coop that's uh, on the other side of the shop right here, on the other side. So, these are little geese. The one to the right in the very back, let's Bruce the goose. He's a male, he's very big. It's our little DIY setup for them right now. Little dog house thing with a piece of sheeting. <laughs> we didn't have much stuff to do to build them a coop. We didn't want to put them with the turkeys and the chickens because we didn't want them fighting over stuff, you know. So we just, you know, threw that together. I mean, it works, so we're planning on building something different, but just for now, that's what we got. But in here is where all the goodies are. Yeah, these are the meat birds. They like to jump out. Got the baby meat birds. And then all the ducks. Oh, there's a meat bird in the duck area. That's weird. Probably so jumped in there. Hey guys, get out of the way. You guys are really bothering sometimes. They just won't stop following you around. Open up this other side over here real quick. Alright. Oh, if you guys are OGs, watch the second ever video on the channel. There's the old pit bike. So, first things first. Oh, there's little snoopers in there. Chicken is stupid. Where's the scoopy go? That was easy to First thing first, I'm gonna get some flock razor for the adult chickens. Oh, there's one of the adult chickens that wandered over here. Oh, the turkey got out, that's interesting. Haven't seen that yet. All the chickens just went straight to it. I have to throw that turkey back in here in a second. Always give them two scoops when there's a lot of birds. <coughs> Excuse me. Give these guys a little bit in case they can't get back in. The meat birds are so on me. We got some non-medicated meat bird food with some corn in it for the and meat birds. And one and a half scoops of this stuff. Alright guys, move. Step on their feet and they keep getting stuck because there's so many of them I can't get out of the way. Almost forgot. Gotta get some flock razor. And the little ducks too. And the big ducks. Okay, today's the way to clean the container out. It's a little bit dirty. Fill that up real quick. Just like so. Now, for the big ducks, you gotta get them the same food, because they're ducks. Meat birds trying to get out of there. 
little birds eating the wrong food. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. We have some puppies. <laughs> the tail one is Daisy. And this one's Luna. They're super friendly. This is Bolt, big boy Bolter. He's a big boy. This is Blueberry, Cracker, Clammy, Shelby, and then Willow, the white one. See the duck right there? The yellow beak right in the middle right there? That's Marshmallow. He is a very big duck. He's a jumbo pecking duck, or pecan duck, however you like to pronounce it. And uh, he's only a few months old and he's giant. But I guess that's why they call him jumbo pecking ducks. These guys just always want to see what you're doing. These guys are really cool, but annoying at the same time. Alright, what do we do next? Oh, that's right. The bag without the corn in it for the baby meat birds. These guys are hungry too. They probably don't want to go back in. So I'll just dump some right here for them. Alright, Cobra Kai, get out of here. You guys don't know why I named her Cobra Kai. She was really possessive over her food when she was a baby two years ago. And we thought she was a rooster, but I guess she's not a rooster. Let's set this down real quick. Lift this up. Oops. These guys, their food is not low on the pipe. I think that their food are here because they're and there's clogged down, I'll fix that later. Grab the water. We'll fill this puppy up. That the geese are already coming out. The area. Get all this junk out of the inside of the feeder. If you guys never had baby ducks, geese, turkeys, or chickens, it's really fun. I think you just should get some. But it is kind of like the last time to get them, I'm pretty sure, because when we got those baby ducks that I was just showing you guys, um, we got them like for the rallies, we got them for a dollar because they're, they were older. Than like what they normally want them to sell them at for age. Crap, that's a little heavy for one hand. Marshmallows in the front, or the white duck in between the ducks. It's so cute. He's a big boy. Get that meat bird out. That area. So you're still hungry. Eating everything up. Well, pretty sure that's it for now. Um, I got these guys. They're water behind the coop. Those two metal bins. Phone box was top last night, so they should be good for water. Check our coop. It's way down by the barn down there. You guys. Have I think you guys have seen it before if you watch my older videos but uh check them they have good enough food and water for a few days and uh last night i got the water for all the little guys so we'll probably need water tonight again but i guess that's it for the taking care of my birds video today but um i have a real surprise to show you guys real quick for next video i haven't got to show you guys it yet 
But we're going to be uploading a lot of videos here in the next four days because today's July 1st. I don't know if video is going live today, but hopefully. And I have a few other videos of my Father's Day and stuff. I need to edit those up and post them. Never got a hold of it, but this is a surprise. She's a little, she's a little messed up, but besides that, she's pretty nice. You know, I had to put a Let's Go Brandon sticker on it. <laughs> and the 2003 TRX 90 runs nice. The bars are absolutely bent to hell because um, my brother was so excited to sit on it because he was so excited that we can both ride four-wheelers now. He touched the parking brake when it was in the back of my dad's truck, so he didn't think anything of it because he thought the parking brake was on. So we drove over to the hill where we unload it because on the hill over there, you guys can't really see it from this perspective, but it fell out, landed upside down, jacked the bars, broke this. The brake will still work, but you have to like move it there. Let's go jack that. That's all messed up. But these are welded. The brakes are welded, so we can't get new bars unless we get new bar clamps. But it is what it is. I can't do much about it. But here's the Raptor. I'm never trying to snorkel a mini four wheeler again. That was the worst idea ever. My brother actually apparently sunk this thing, so I went to wash it. Here, run him through the mud hole. I went to wash it a few days later when he wasn't here, and I tried to start it to bring it to the hangar. Look in here, this is Fold's dream boot. And in between the boot right here and the carburetor, I'm dripping something, I didn't know if it was water or something. I pulled this, the drain for the uh, airbox, drained for like a minute straight. It was loaded with water. I was shocked. Pulled the spark plug out of the top end, turned it over, let the water shoot out of the top end. Uh, Drain the transmission fluid, the oil, flushed it, put new ones in, and then turned it over, and then dumped it, and then put new oil in. So, it started right up, and it runs better now. It was idling a little low, so I changed that a little bit. Well, it doesn't like to start when you don't have your... This always happens to me. I say something works good, and then it doesn't. Probably just need to turn the choke on. To be fair, it is cold. But it idles a little higher now. It's running good. But that will be in a future video. But the mini four-wheelers are officially on the property together. A lot of fun videos to come. But... A lot of videos coming, like I said, for the 4th of July, the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. A lot of fireworks every year, at least when there's our burn van. But we love fireworks, so trust me, we have a lot of space for them. So we're going to be definitely using them. But hopefully I'm not boring you guys too much with my talking. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch y'all on the next one.